Good day everyone, welcome to Senior Pablo TV. And for today's video, we will be discussing distance between two coins. So make sure that you watch the discussion about the rectangular coordinate system. So we have here the Cartesian plane or rectangular coordinate system, the y-axis and the x-axis. Of course, this is our quadrant 1, 2, 3, and 4. Now, we will be discussing the distance between two points. Let's say we have the following problem. Find the distance between the following points. Letter A, 1, 2, and or letter A, point 1, 2, and point 5, 2. So, to find the distance, so let's say we're going to plot the following points. Letter A, 1, 2, first step, we're going to plot 1, 2, so 1, then 2, that will be our first point. The second point is 5, 2, so 5, then 2. Then to get the distance between the two points, we're just going to count how many units between the two points. So we have 1, 2, 3, 4. So the distance between the two points is 4 units. Okay. You can use that by plotting the two points. The second is negative 1, negative 3, and negative 1, 5. So let us plot negative 1, negative 3. Negative 1, then negative 3. So this will be our first point. Then our second point is negative 1, positive 5. Negative 1, going to positive 5. So connecting the two points. So how many units between the two points? So let us count. So starting to our first point, then we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So there are 8 units between the two points. Okay. Now for our last problem, negative 2, 1. So negative 2, 1. That would be our first point. Then the second point is negative 5, negative 5. Negative 5, negative 5. So connecting the two points, notice that our line is in a slanting form. So we cannot count, we cannot assume that we have, we can get the same calibration or the same unit. So how are we going to find the distance between two points? Now we will introduce you, or I will introduce to you, the formula for that. So the distance formula is equal to square root of x sub 1 minus x sub 2 squared plus y sub 1 minus y sub 2 squared. This will be our formula. Or it can be x sub 2 minus x sub 1 raised to 2 plus y sub 2 minus y sub 1 raised to 2. So, let us use this formula to get the distance in these two points, in letter C. So, this will be our x sub 1, then our y sub 1, x sub 2, and our y sub 2. Let's just go into substitute. So, the distance is equal to square root of x sub 1 is negative 2 minus x sub 2 is negative 5 so negative 5 raised to 2 plus y sub 1 is 1 minus y sub 2 is negative 5 so negative 5 don't forget your parentheses raised to 2 so d is equal to square root of so negative 2 Negative times positive, uh, negative times negative, that will become positive 5, raised to 2, plus 1, negative times negative, that will positive 5, raised to 2. Okay, let us repeat. 
negative times negative, that is positive, so just copy 5. The same with negative times negative, we have the positive, then copy 5. Now, simplify. Simplifying, we have the square root of negative 2 plus 5, that is positive 3, raised to 2, plus 1 plus 5, that is 6, raised to 2. So we have d is equal to square root of 3 square, that is 3 times 3, which is 9, plus 6 square, that is 6 times 6, 36. That is equal to square root of 9 plus 36, 45. So 45. Now to simplify, Get the factors of five, uh, 45. One factor must be a perfect square number. So that is 9 times 5. So for our final answer, square root of 9, that is 3, square root of 5 units. Okay. So 3 square root of 5 units. That would be the distance between the two points. Now to verify our formula, let us check our answers in letter A and in letter B. So in letter A, so D is equal to square root of x sub 1 is 1 minus x sub 2 is 5 raised to 2 plus y sub 1, y sub 1 is 2 minus y sub 2 is 2 then square now we have 1 minus 5 that is negative 4 raised to 2 plus 2 minus 2 that is 0 raised to 2 so d is equal to square root of negative 4 squared that is negative 4 times negative 4 16 plus 0 squared of course that is 0 so d is equal to square root of 16 and square root of 16 is 4. So therefore, the distance between the two points is 4 units, which is the same if we're going to plot in our Cartesian plane. So that is the difference in checking. So you can use the Cartesian plane if we have the exact or we can use the counting and you can use, of course, our formula. But in some cases, you cannot use this. That's why we have this formula, the distance formula, is equal to square root of x sub 1 minus x sub 2 raised to 2 plus y sub 1 minus y sub 2 raised to 2. So that's the application of the formula in our topic. Let's have more exercises regarding this problem or regarding this topic. And now let's have our fourth example. What is the length of the line segment whose endpoints are 4, 7, and negative 3, 5? So let us label our points. This is our x sub 1, our y sub 1, then x sub 2, and our y sub 2. So we're going to get the distance between the endpoints. So we're going to use the distance formula. So our distance formula, d is equal to square root of x sub 1 minus x sub 2 raised to 2 plus y sub 1 minus y sub 2 raised to 2. Then after writing the formula, substitute the given. So square root of our x sub 1 is 4 minus x sub 2 negative 3, don't forget, squared, plus y sub 1, y sub 1 is 7, minus y sub 2 is 5 raised to 2. Now, simplify. So we have 4, negative times negative, that will become positive, then copy 3, copy squared, plus 7 minus 5, that is 2 raised to 2. Now we have 4 plus 3, 
that is 7 raised to 2 plus 2 squared or that is 2 times 2, 4. Now we have the square root of 7 squared, that is 49, plus 4. So 49 plus 4, that is the square root of 53 units. Square root of 53 units. So check 53. Do we have a factor so 53? One factor must be a perfect square number. So, we don't have. So, this will be our final answer. The distance of the line segment is the square root of 53 units. And now, our fifth example. Find y if the distance between 2, comma y and 7, comma 8 is 13. So we're going to find the value of y. So let us label our given. This is our x sub 1, y sub 1, x sub 2, and y sub 2. And of course, given the distance, which is 13. Let us write our formula. Distance is equal to square root of x sub 1 minus x sub 2 raised to 2 plus y sub 1 minus y sub 2 raised to 2. So given the distance, which is 13, so let us substitute the given. So d is 13. Square root of x sub 1, we have 2, minus x sub 2 is 7. So x sub 2 is 7. Squared plus y sub 1, which is y, minus y sub 2, which is 8, then copy squared. Now, let us simplify. 13 is equal to square root of 2 minus 7. That is negative 5 squared plus y minus 8 raised to 2. So, a square of a binomial. Your lesson in your grade 8. So, a square the first term. That is y squared. Multiply the first and the second term. y times negative 8. That is negative 8y times 2. So, negative 16y. Then, negative 8 raised to 2. Or, negative 8 times negative 8 positive 64 or if you want that is y minus 8 times y minus 8 we're going to foil or simplify that this will be the product so 13 is equal to the square root of negative 5 raised to 2 that is 25 plus y squared minus 16y plus 64. Now we have 13 is equal to the square root of combine 25 and 64. So arrange y squared minus 16y. 25 plus 64 is 89. Okay. Now our next goal is we need to remove the square root. So grade 9 lesson, we need to square to remove the square root. So we have 13 squared, or 13 times 13, 169 is equal to, now that will be cancelled out, y squared minus 16y plus 89. That will give us a quadratic. So equate to zero, I'm going to erase this. Equating to zero, so that will become zero is equal to y squared minus 16y plus 89 minus 169. So zero. 0 is equal to y squared minus 16y 
now we have six, uh, 89 minus 169 so 169 minus 89 so this will become 0 and now we have 80 negative 80 okay factor out so the factor y y factors of negative 80 the sum must be negative 16 so factors of negative 80 the sum must be 16 so let us find the factors of 80 80 so 2 so we have 40 we have 2 we have 20 2 10 2 and 5 so factors can be 4 so that is 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 4 times 5 20 so that is 80 so this okay 1 negative and 1 positive 16 so we get that negative 20 and positive 4 now let us check negative 20 times positive 4 that is negative 80 negative 20 plus positive 4 negative 16 now equate to 0 y minus 20 is equal to 0 and y plus 4 is equal to 0 so our y is equal to positive 20 and the second is y is equal to negative 4 so y can be positive 20 and negative 4 positive 20 and negative 4 that would be the possible value of our y so see you will recall your lesson in your grade 8 and lesson in your grade 9 factory so that's the distance between two points next topic will be the midpoint formula thank you for watching senior pablo tv